Hi guys, this is the Dev Lounge with an Xcode 4 tutorial on NS user defaults. So today we're going to create a very simple application where we enter some text into a UI text field. We're going to save it into the NS user defaults and then we're going to have a button that retrieves what is in the NS user defaults key and put it in a label. So without further ado, let's open up Xcode and start a new project going to be a single view application. It's going to be called NS user defaults. No class prefix, device, iPhone, storyboards, and ARC on. I'm going to choose a place to save this. And then here in the navigation, we're going to dive straight into the storyboard. So we're going to mock up a very simple UI. So over here in the utilities panel, in the objects library, we're going to need to drag out a text field, two buttons, and a label. Just going to stretch this out. So this text field is where we're going to enter the text that we're going to save into the NS user defaults key. We're going to call this button save value. I'm going to stretch this label out. I'm going to have no text in there. And then we're going to call this button get value. Now we're going to close up the utilities panel up here. We're going to make sure our view controller is selected and hit our assistant editor. And make sure it's on the view controller.h. And we're going to control drag from our UI text field into our view controller.h. And we're going to call this save text field. And we're going to do the same from our UI label control drag into our view controller.h and we're going to call this get label. Then we're going to go into our view controller.m. We're going to clear out some of the things we don't need. And we're going to make this equal to our underbar variables, instance variables. Oops, sorry. Now we're going to need to control drag from our two UI buttons to create an IB action and then so we can code within the button actions. So control drag from this save value button. We're going to call it save value. I'm going to give it no arguments because we're not sending anything. And then the same from our get value. Again, no arguments. Space that out. And then we can close up our storyboard and just have our single view editor or standard editor on the view controller.m. So in the save value IB action, we need to create a pointer to the NS user defaults. So we do NS user defaults star defaults is equal to, and then in square brackets, NS user defaults standard user defaults. So we have a pointer, a local variable to ns user defaults. So within square brackets we call the defaults and then we call the method set object id for key ns string. So our object is going to be our self dot save text field dot text and we're going to save it in the key saved value with a capital S and a capital V. And then once you've added or set an object in NS user defaults, you have to synchronize. So we call defaults and then we call the method synchronize. You have to synchronize, otherwise this will not work. Common error is to forget the synchronize and wonder why you cannot access your defaults. So once we've saved the value into the NS user defaults, we then have to get the value back from the NS user defaults key. So again, we need to repeat the first line here. NS user defaults star defaults is equal to NS user defaults standard user defaults. Then we need one more line to set the labels text. So self dot get label dot text is equal to in square brackets defaults object for key and then the key that we used up here, the saved 
value. Now that's all the code that we need, so we're going to go ahead and run our application. Wait for that to load. And I'm going to enter hello YouTube viewers. And then we're going to save that value. And then when we hit the get value, it should appear here in the label. So get value. So there we go. That's come from NS user defaults, but you may not or may believe that. So we're going to stop our application. Then we're going to, if you see here, the home button, we're going to double click and we're going to hold down on the application and bring up the red icon and we're going to terminate the application and then we're going to start it again and then we're going to get the value without entering any more text so get value hello YouTube viewers so that value has been saved into the phone's NS user defaults under the key save value and can be used until the application is deleted so that concludes our tutorial on NS user defaults. Please go to our Facebook page, The Dev Lounge, and like us. Follow us on Twitter, at The Dev Lounge. I'll leave the information in the information section below. Leave a comment. Remember to like, favorite, and subscribe to our channel. This is The Dev Lounge. Thank you for watching, and until next time.